Alright boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people and whatnots. What we have today is three unboxings for the Sisters of Battle. These are just going to be silly little things I'm using for projects. So this one, as you can see, I've already opened it because I forgot what I'd ordered. As you do. Uh, we've got Canonis Veridian and Amalia Novina, the Sister Superior. These two I got just on a whim. Um, actually I was drunk, but... This one is something a bit more fun. This is a third party uh, set of heads, actually two different sets of heads we're going to look at today. So I'm just going to shove those out of the way and yeah, so that's everything in that box. So this is stuff ordered from War Games exclusive. So we've got uh, two, I'll zoom down on this, I'm just going to take these out of the packets and see if that's focusing on that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'll put links to the exact ones I've got, although I probably could have done some research at, you know, beforehand and actually, you know, remembered what I ordered. So now I know uh, as far as Wargame exclusives go, a lot of people complain about the over sexualized nature of some of the models and I have to agree but I don't really have any of those so I don't care so I've got two sets of heads obviously one of them's broken off here because what I'm going to do is use these as heads for the sisters of battle that came in the new army box I'm going to use these five for the flying dailies and these five for the not flying daily so I'm actually going to bring that down even more so yeah there are two different sets obviously and uh, I've got one on the model somewhere I'll, I'll, I'll put one of these on a model so these ones have a slightly more ornate one so these are two sets of five these ones are slightly more ornate on the end there so you could use those as the sister superior uh, Actually, it does not match that. It does not match that. That just looks like... Hang on. So I've got five of these ones. And that one. Five of those ones. And then just some random head that actually matches those ones. That's weird. But these ones, if I bring them right up close to the camera so you can see that they have a little uh, fleur de lis if I find something I can use to point with pop a little fleur de lis just on the very tip which is very nice the uh, single helmet there does not have that see but the other two do or the other three same on this set but that one is the wrong helmet to match that set so I'm gonna have to email them back about that that one matches these not that I'm complaining these ones are much more bare oh, they've got a nice little intricate pattern there on the side if you can see it hopefully in this light so this is an example of the stock helmet from the sisters of battle army box that was just released um, as you can see I've tried to make the lighting as dramatic as I can so you can maybe see all the small details so it's a nice helmet fairly plain at the back that little visory bit at the front and the little peak it's it's a lovely helmet but just for my own variety, I've got these two ones to try. We've got, this is the common helmet it's described as. Um, I have to I do like this one. I'm going to use this one for the Flying Sisters, the Sisters. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. I'm terrible with names at anything. So... These are a little bit more detailed at the back. 
uh, at the side there you can see and then it's still got a nice visor effect at the front I'm hoping this is in focus it's hard to get the webcam in focus but these are very nice and then we've also got yes yeah, so this is just Emperor Sisters Helmets V2 is what this one is called so you can see at the back of it it does have a similar kind of detailing as the last one So this is all three helmets side by side. Uh, I like them all, to be honest. I don't like bare helmeted models. I'm not just because I can't paint faces, although I can't. But I, you know, I like the idea of a soldier going into battle, not taking stupid risks, unless they're an orc. That's not a stupid risk. It's a calculated gamble. I'm painting the helmets up separately from the bodies. I've got all the bodies mounted on my usual arrangement like this of Cork, so if I drop her in behind, actually she is jet black and you cannot see her. So if I do dramatic things with the lighting, yeah. So yeah, can't see her at all. Um, I'm hopefully going to do a video on how I paint these. I'm going to paint them white, so it'll be a basically how to paint white power armor. They go very nicely with my how to paint black power armor. But um, that one will be an airbrush tutorial, I think. Um, I don't really want to fancy tackling that with a paintbrush. But on with the rest of this video, let's do the unboxings and reviews of the other two models from the Sisters range. The Sisters of Battle Canoness Veridian. And this one will actually be my very first fine cast model. I've never built a fine cast one. I got back into the hobby at their release of 8th and I've never ordered anything yet. So that is very shiny. So we'll actually take that ow, out of its packet entirely. I do like the way you can see those are made. So now we'll go to one side. So we've got obviously uh, two sprues with all the flash. So obviously these are resin. What's the copyright date on that? 16. So it is fairly new. It is such a ridiculous pose. That's why I like this model. It is just absolutely ludicrous. But the fine detail of the resin really, really does make a difference. It, it does stand out. compared to like the plastics although the plastics are getting very very detailed I remember years ago though the plastic wasn't you know before I stopped playing so this one's good yeah it's nice the other sprue there's absolutely no casting issues with this that I can see all the detail looks perfect a little flirtily on the on the gun if you can see it not a lot of focal depth on this, sorry. But I can't see any issues with this at all. I know I've heard a lot of uh, people having issues with the flying cast, but you know, the fail cast thing, the whole meme of that one. But actually, let's look at the instructions before we do anything else. I can't see these being very detailed. Yeah. I mean, it is such a ludicrous pose with the leg being up you know absolutely ludicrous pose but you gotta love it and that's what games workshop is at its best at when they do ludicrous things so this is the sister superior all right let me just move out so we're focused I wish there was a better way to light this up. So, let's pop this box. So, I mean, again, it's a beautifully, ow, simple single sprue for this one. If we're to side by side, you know, it's effectively the same size. 
Not that I'm saying they shouldn't remake that one in plastic. That would take away some of the charm. I do like the base. I didn't get this earlier this year. I wasn't too bothered about the sisters at that point. But the more I saw of their absolutely ludicrous vehicles, <laughs> the more I want sisters. So, and obviously you've got small base, 32 mil base. And general build instructions. So I can't see this being difficult. And I don't even think it would need sub-assemblies. Might paint it off the base would be the only thing, but other than that, yeah. So yeah, these are obviously relatively simple kits. There's nothing, you know, it's not an Imperial Knight level. Although even that, that Imperial Knights aren't hard to build, they're just time consuming because there's so many bits. But, you know, it's... Relatively straightforward. I do like this kind of thing. So there, by an almost magical process, we have the two models built up. You can see that the Amalia Novena, the plastic one on the right there, uh, she has her head separate for easy painting, and her backpack separate for easy painting. It's literally just uh, a very shallow one millimeter hole drilled into it, and then a paper clip uh, glued into it. If I turn. If I turn that one slightly sideways, you can see that that's pretty much straight in. And that looks like she's eating her knee, so we'll take that away again. And if I spin if I spin this one, you can see that that is pretty much, again, shallow hole drilled in. And the, a little bit of super glue in the tip, and in it goes. The Canon S Viridian has a shallow hole drilled in the bottom of that and then the paper clip so that's how I mount models so you can see that's sort of at an angle makes it fairly easy to paint uh, but yeah so they're both lovely models uh, the detail rivals each other actually that plastic model is a very very good quality model I'm very pleased with these but I gotta say Canon S Viridian just has the stupidest pose I love it. Anyway, so I'm going to paint these up with the rest of the sisters that I've got primed. If you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching. There's another couple of videos there you can click on. You can click on the subscribe button if you want to. Uh, like the video if you want to. Stick a comment down if you've anything to say. And in the meantime, happy wargaming. And I'll see you next time.